Earth's under attack by machines. I don't like our chances. Let's take our chances. us out of a tough spot, Outlander. Welcome to Sunstone Rock. You should speak to Warden Geneva inside.
was a machine lure. We don't know how they got it. Rosgrun concealed the parts on his person, no doubt. We searched him. How? My duty is Warden Geneva. This is the one who defeated the behemoths. Outlander. I'm impressed. I don't impress easily. Tell me, how do you fare with hunting living prey? Haven't had any complaints. Why? Three dangerous prisoners have escaped. I need my men here, getting the others back in line. None of this would have happened if we dealt with criminals the old way. But... I've clashed that gong before, and here I am. And here you are. What's the old way? To be buried up to the neck and left for the sun's judgment. Seems to me like the judgment's already been made. Not one of them committed another crime. Who are these dangerous prisoners? Three from the isolation cages. Don't feel sorry for them. They've lived well off the Sun King's conscience. First is Rosgrund. Osram trap maker, hates the Karja, crazy as a loon in heat. Caught in one too many blasts, or one too few. Then there's Ulia, a Tanakh warrior, if that means anything to you. Not really. Another tribe? Reavers, from the south, bloodthirsty. Some say they're cannibals, but she slurped gruel well enough. And the last is Gavon, a traitor who smuggled weapons to the exiles. Compared to the other two, this one doesn't seem so bad. He helped drag out a civil war, all for the shards it got him. A machine has more warmth. So the Karja keep their criminals in this place? Since the liberation. We've had them all, from thieves to the Mad King Jaron's former Kestrels. The Sun King believes in the power of change, and sure enough, some did change. Shed their skin, like lizards. I thought all criminals were the same once. That's why the Sun King gave me command of Sunstone Rock. As an education. Sounds like an honor. I mean, I haven't seen any other women in Karja armor. No. I'm not one of your sisters. No woman can wear Karja armor. When I was young, I chose to become a soldier. One good enough to join Avad's honor guard. There was talk about what I was. So I'd say... Test me, and I'll break your arm. After enough arms had been broken, there was less... talk. I'm curious, but I'd rather we didn't have to start fighting. Agreed. So you want these prisoners brought back? No. I want them put in the Earth. I doubt they'll give you any choice. They had their chance with the Sun King's generosity. So now they face mine. A bounty on all their heads. Ulia of the Tanakh, Razgrund of the Asaram, and the traitor Gavon. If I did this for you, I'd need a lead on them. Well, when Ulia first swept through the Sundom, it was with the jungle bandits. I say she'll go back. Rosgrund we pulled out of a crack in Dusk Mesa, where he'd been tinkering with his bombs. And Gavon will be trying to pay his way across the lake. I'd burn my palm on it. Look in Bright Market. Full of bandits and this to knock forward too. Not fear death. Beckon it. Have you got anything better to do?
Thirsty for rain. Me, not so much.
I'll get this open. Hold on. I'm not leaving you in here. about this, huh? All the Kaja did was talk. Talk and bleed. Talk and shackle me. You, you fought like a Tanakh. I'd have taken you for my child. You can't just take a child. The strong take from the weak. weak. And in the taking, I made stronger. These stories pricked into my skin. Look. Children, riches, lives, and land. All of these have been mine. Drink of my... <laughs> my blood. And they'll live on. <gasps> no, Lilia. I've... got enough stories to carry. <laughs> 